here are the tools that you will need to complete this operation. Now we are going to install the new collet and guide bushing. The first thing that we need to do is pull the old collet and guide bushing out. Open the door and move the headstock back all the way by going into the manual operation mode and selecting the Z axis. Use the hand wheel and jog the Z axis in a negative direction until it is all the way back. To remove the main collet, you must pull off the cap. Pull the cap off by taking the large box shaped wrench and resting it on the axis slide. Then take the spanner wrench and loosen the cap. Remove the cap. Now we can remove the main collet. Now that the main collet is out, we can remove the guide bushing. Start by lining up the wrench with the holes in the nut and then loosen the set screw. Hold the bushing in place with a wrench. Then turn the wrench that is secured onto the guide bushing nut counterclockwise. Pull the guide bushing out and remove the nut. Clean the inside of the guide bushing spindle and the main collet spindle. Make sure they are free of any chips or debris. Now we are ready to reinstall the main collet. There is a spring located inside the sleeve of the main collet. Make sure that it is functioning properly before putting the cap back on. Put the cap back on and tighten it until it is snug. Now install the new guide bushing. There is a keyway on the bushing that needs to be aligned inside the spindle. Reinstall the nut in the back of the spindle. Make sure to leave the guide bushing loose to allow for the new size of material to safely enter the guide bushing.